Hello everybody and welcome on my journey to watch 500 films in one year. The 122nd film I watched was The Canyons, about Christian, an LA trust fund kid with casual ties to Hollywood, who learns of a secret affair between his girlfriend and the lead actor in a film project he's working on. Even though this movie has had some terrible reviews, I was drawn to The Canyons as a result of the writer and director. Brett Easton Ellis is one of my favourite authors, and Paul Schrader wrote some really great movies. Taxi Driver, Raging Bull, Cat People and American Gigolo are just some of them. This was Lindsay Lohan's last film before her hiatus, and she is satisfactory as the lead female, Tara. Apparently, The Shadow Within is currently in post-production, so it looks as though her career may be restarting fairly shortly. She is actually given a producer credit on this film, but from what has been said by her co-stars and colleagues, she was quite difficult to work with on set. The look of the film should have been slicker. It looked to me like it was filmed and lit by amateurs in some places, and the characters were mostly heinous, self-obsessed and vacuous, meaning it was difficult to empathise with them or care about what happened to them. Also, the grime of Hollywood has been captured in many other movies much more effectively. The Player, for example, is a film that examines the sordid nature of the place in a new and interesting way. But in my opinion, it's no surprise that Brett Easton Ellis' story didn't translate well onto screen. Apart from American Psycho, I didn't particularly like any of the film adaptations of his books but wait for the day that a brave team attempts to film Luna Park. This is my most favourite of his novels, and I think it would be amazing if it was done right. In summary, I thought The Canyons was a plodding tale about one-dimensional damaged people with zero eroticism. A big thumbs down from me. Please join me for my next review, where I'll be talking about Simon Killer, written and directed by Antonio Campos. Thanks for taking the time to listen and I hope to hear from you soon.